thank you for being here with us at 16 Ounce Cinema as we present Takeshi Miike with myself, Mike, and Bjork. Hello. Are you excited to be here tonight, Bjork? I am. I'm so excited. I just did a dab for some reason. I haven't done that in ages. Wow, I've never done a dab, so this is exciting that, that you did one. You can one. do one now. I don't... You know what? I'm not going to. I would embarrass myself <laughs> and my... Uh, <laughs> And my 35-year-old pet stuffed puppy. He would. He's looking right at me. He would be like, he'd be like, he'd leave. He stuffed your puppy. That's how embarrassed he'd be. No, like, so when I was like four or five, I was really scared to go on a boat because we were going on a big giant boat to get on um, an island off of the coast of Greece. Oh yeah. And so my sister bought me a little stuffed puppy, and so I've had him for 35 years now. <laughs> So that's my little guy. My mind went straight to putting a hole in it and using it to masturbate with. Did you do that? That's... F I did not do that. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my... <laughs> it's poor guy. Yeah, I did not do that. Even at my wildest, the most hormonal, <laughs> which is like probably like 14, 15, when you're just like weird and doing weird <laughs> shit with your penis. So the... Yeah, you know, before I went through puberty, I used to put um Lego pieces in my belly button. Oh, I gonna take you butt. <laughs> No, no, what? No, it's, that came way later, way in my 30s. <laughs> How many pieces could you fit part. in your belly button? Uh, actually, I never I never put in, I was never wild. I, I only ever put in one at a time. Like, I mean, if you're really trying, you, can f you could fit in two small ones and one long one. Yeah, one time uh, uh, our, our other co podcasters and I wondered how many um, pepperoncinos I could fit in my foreskin. What's a pepperoncino? Um, it's like. For us, when we get, like, cheap pizza here from, like, Papa John's, yeah. it comes with this, like, pepper. It's, like, this little green pepper. That's It's kind of it's kind of spicy, but it's pretty mild and has a good taste to it. It's actually usually the best part of the pizza because it's always on the side. It's just so fresh. Oh, I, I, I know what pizza. you're on about. Yeah. 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 I, th I, I, really, I really think I can fit, like, seven or eight in there, to be honest. Did you end up putting any in? No, I still haven't gotten to that point in my I life. Bird. I will soon, but... Yeah, like yeah fresh, I bet it would also fresh burn. simulation. Ooh, yeah, I'm not a fan. So, uh, would you rather have ambition or honor? I would rather have ambition. A question for all our listeners too, of course. Sorry to cut up, York. It's okay. Well, well, you'd rather have ambition? Yeah, it might motivate me to do something. Yeah, yeah, I think I would too. But like myself, like who I would love to be, I would love to have honor and instead you know what like i mean a medal of like honor. in my head like i have this like stoicness of like a 19 or like a 1600s japanese samurai <laughs> which and so they would have honor it's like when you walk but into I, I don't. room, everyone immediately goes quiet there's mike yeah that's mike yeah. the mike that's mike all his honor inside you of you know him. what he did right that is mike Ooh. Dude, I would love for people to say, you know what he did, right? <laughs> I don't care what it is. I just want people to say that. No one ever me. says <laughs> what you did either. It's just, you know what he did, right? <laughs> you know what he did, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, that'd be pr especially like a village back then of like 30 people. So would be, oh, uh, you would definitely be king of the village. Oh, yeah. Um, so we are here today for, I believe, Ambition Without Honor 1. And a little bit of two. Yeah, correct. <laughs> is, is that why we're here? Yeah, and we didn't All bother right. with three because it's nowhere to be found and it's not directed by Takashi Miike. Yeah, I didn't know there was. A, I don't. Two was so bad. I don't want to watch three. I think two is no great. What. I really like. It. Really, I really like it. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, real quick, going back to uh, uh, my stuffed animal. Do you, what's your What's your oldest toy? Um, I used to have a toy chicken that I took everywhere. It's like a stuffed chicken pet. And one day, for some reason, I, you know, you get like hobs that you cook stuff on. I said, yeah. I want chicken. I'm hungry. And I put the chicken on there and it burnt. Were you seven or 22? Um, I think I was actually about nine. Okay. All right. That's and cool. then it burnt all the chicken's ass. So after that, I just had a <laughs> half burnt chicken. <laughs> Do you still have it or no? And I think I threw it out. Oh, that's sad. I almost see the first time I got this dog. I almost threw it out onto the uh, Greek Mediterranean Ocean. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't. So I would have either had this dog for literally like a couple hours or 35 years. There's no in between. <laughs> There's enough crap in that ocean anyway. Yeah, I did lose it for a year once, so I'm actually shocked they still have it. I felt so Where'd bad. Where'd you find it? <laughs> 
So I, I foreclosed on a house once. Oh, yeah. And so I left all my shit and moved out. Mm-hmm. And then, like, about a year later, we went back. And somebody, I think TJ was like, uh, all your shit is still there. Do you want to go through your old house? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I do. And then, like, the fridge was super disgusting. And, like, it was just mold and shit. Sounds like my And room. then, like, yeah. And then, yeah, I didn't paint over. I just <laughs> left it. And then, uh. And then in, uh, in my bedroom, it was his dog. And I was like, oh, my God, I found you. I was so happy. But it was, it was crazy that it was just sitting there. At least it wasn't covered in mold. So. Yeah. No, it was pretty good, yeah. Awesome. Uh, awesome. So uh, let's let's get started with Ambition Without Honor 1 and 2. I, I will say I read about these. And oh, then the big Mickey book? I probably mostly, pro- mostly forgot what it wrote. Um, but, yeah, the big Mickey book. Oh, nice. Finally using gonna, it. Well, I was using it mostly for. I just skipped like a, a, a part or two. All right. Uh, so, what's our next movie? Is our next movie called Peanuts? By the way, it is. It's called Peanuts. And uh, That's so next crazy. podcast doing Peanuts and the Way to Fight, which I thought were eh, but I think I like them this okay. time. Yeah. And okay. fun fact. Wait, have you rewatched them already? No, or no, not yet. I I wait to record this first. I'll probably watch them next week, maybe. Mm-hmm. Now, real quick, in the in the actual book, the uh, the main character here is like there's like a black and white photo of him, and it's probably the, one of the best photos I've seen so far. Oh yeah, I, I don't remember the he, photo. What is it? Is it of his? Um, uh, it's ju- it's just a, it's yeah, it's his like dragon tattoo on his back, and then him just kind of staring, you know, like to the side, and he's got this like you can see his neck is creased and his hair is all beautiful, <laughs> and he, you know he, all. Japanese men in their 20s just have this baby butt soft skin <laughs> and it's just like a, such a sensual picture for some reason I don't I don't know why it's just it's just great I like all the pictures in here but this one is just like this one is just like wow this is beautiful imagine if the film was in that quality <laughs> dude there's got to be a way to make these in the 4k or something oh I, did, I don't know I think the this film will be in better copy if you could get it quality if you could get it on dvd it's just the random guy that decided to upload it in such piss poor quality it's his fault so if i was like a very rich person yeah like would i be able to uh like get these movies and like make them 4k somehow yeah you could easily get the rights to these films like no one wants them you could easily not even hard i think it costs you next to nothing to to restore this film Hmm. there's this guy um have you heard of the distribution company called third window films no uh, they they it's like one guy that runs it and he specializes in all japanese shit like he's released some miki and some Su- uh, shinya sukamoto films and some takeshi kitano stuff and he just re- okay. he restores it all himself and he runs the business entirely from his house he's got stacks and stacks of blu-rays all over his living room Oh, are they really nice restorations? Yeah, ridiculously good. And he does all the post really? work himself. It's amazing. You know what? I think I saw, like, maybe not this one exactly, but I, somebody pointed out to me, like, this guy who has, like, a bunch of Blu-rays on his catalog that he sells that are just, like, homemade Blu-rays and are just, like, films that are oh, just, that's, like, old. Um, and just kinda... Hong, that's the Hong Kong oh, yeah, that, guy. What's that's called? right. That is that is him. It wasn't you that showed me that. It was somebody else. It's probably TJ. So weird TJ that you got showed it. me him before. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, his yeah. stuff looks nice, but um, I heard that he's stopping actual Blu-ray companies from releasing it because they, he- they heard he's going to release it, so they didn't bother doing an official release of it, which is mm. kind of crap, but at least he's releasing them because no one else is. That's true, yeah. Do you like Hong Kong so, cinema? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't like. I don't have anything to say about it, Like, but I like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if, you were to, if you were to say, hey, watch this movie tomorrow, I would be like, hey, this was pretty good. Yeah, I was just That's my curious. opinion of Hong Kong cinema. I don't think cinema. you've ever talked about it before. No, because like I don't know anything about cinema. So for me, like when you say yeah, that, you I'd be like, I don't know. About, you know more than most people. I guess not. A, yeah, but not like to talk about Hong Kong cinema. I, I know enough to like like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it, though. I don't know enough you to know talk Jeffy about Chan, it. You know, that's more than enough. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm um, getting to ambition about honor now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. We we watched the movie. We certainly did. Uh, this this movie was is the first uh, TK me TK MK <laughs> film that he filmed on a toy camera, bought for a nickel at Kmart. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, much. Which is an interesting way to go in your career. <laughs> <laughs> and he had those iconic blue subtitles again. Oh yeah. Same YouTube cool. channel as those other ones. It's this one guy that must be subbing them all. Unlike uh, part two, which we had no subtitles for. Yeah. Which maybe, maybe she ch- ch- just dick around on my phone for a little bit. <laughs> I watched it all. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't go on my phone or so anything. What, I just watched it. So, 
So uh, give, give me a couple sentences about what Ambition Without Honor is about. Uh, trying to remember. <laughs> I'll, I'll just read through my notes because I can't remember straight like that. Cause... Okay, I just need an idea of what we're talking about. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get the two. All right, so I'll, all right, let me, let me, sorry, to, you're right. I, I, you told me to, to, to take control. That's my bad. That's my mistake <laughs> for, uh, for handing it off. So we we got this like like young yakuza guy from the picture I was talking about earlier, and like he he uh, he he assassinates a, a, a like another yakuza oh, boss. I know what it's about now. Yeah, and he spends seven years in prison, mm -hmm. and then he gets out, and then boom, we face a recession, and he and the yakuza's like, "Hey, we ain't got shit for you, kid. Good luck to you." Yeah, I thought the story and, uh, was fantastic in the first one. Yeah, I thought the story was really cool. And uh, that's the story, yeah. So let's uh, let's let's start yeah, it off. Yeah, I got here. some trivia and stuff to go through. Oh, yeah, I trivia, always bring okay. the trivia. So hell yeah, bring Ambition it. Ambition about honor was produced by Toei Company, big Japanese company that everyone loves. Who and they're yeah. the company that founded V Cinema. Didn't they make video games? Uh, I think they're thinking of Nintendo. No, <laughs> I am not confusing <laughs> Teo with Nintendo, man. <laughs> or Atari. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, Toei uh, right. founded V Cinema, and the type spell Toei for me. T A T O E I. Toei. You'll recognize them. They have that um, iconic little kitty intro, thing. Intro, yeah. like it's the waves crashing against the rocks. You've probably seen it like a million uh, well, times. The, these were video games. I for sure did no, not know. No, not they video did make games. Free... It's a film company. They did know. They made three video games. Would you like to know their names? I would, and the console. Um, Revenge of the Ninja, which is apparently from 1984, but a Nintendo. Yeah, game? it was a 1984 laser disc video game. The, what the hell? Oh, it was on the C it was on the Sega CD. Oh, so it was. Shit. God, it looks fucking cool. You should look Sega that up. Sega CD play is trash. <laughs> yeah, kinda. And then the other one was the Masked Rider, Kamen Rider Zo, oh, also Kamen on the Rider. Sega CD. That's cool. Really? Yeah, Kamen Rider is a massive franchise. Oh, okay. Well, they did their video game. That's neat. And then, and then, and then there's another one for Sega CD called Time Gal, which is great. <laughs> what is Time Gal? Dude, I, um, it's an interactive movie video game. Dude, I want to play all these. All right, next podcast we're doing Time Gal. Fuck me, kid. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> for real. Dude, this chick's hot. She's just wearing like. She has long, flowing green hair. It's totally anime. Is she? And she has like a red, red underwear on and like cowboy, uh, cowboy Is she shooter a pixel gun. Lady? No, she's like <laughs> super normal, like a cartoon. Oh my god, your voice went so damn high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got insulted. You, you asked if she's a like. I'm in love with her already. And like in these three seconds, and you're like a pixel lady. I'm like this guy <laughs> called my, my beautiful lady, a, t time gal. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna look at that later. This is sweet. I'm gonna like. Okay, anyway. You're gonna jack off into what? your stuffed dog later to the pixel lady. Oh, I, <laughs> dude, stop sexualizing my pet animals, man. What the fuck? <laughs> you at two in the morning? We're recording this at two in the morning at Bjork's time, and he's a little hilarious. A little wild. I should have been in bed hours ago. Yeah. Yeah, he stayed up though. You're a man. I know, right? It's the only time we. What, what time you work tomorrow? I'm not work tomorrow. That's why I'm up. Oh, you're good yeah. then. Alright, hit me with some more trivia about Tay Yo <laughs> uh, So, the film's title, Ambition Without Honor, is a reference to the famous Yakuza film series Battles Without Honor and Humanity, which was also produced by Toei and directed by Kinji Fukasaku, who you will know as the director of Battle Royale. Oh, okay. I do know that. I mean, now that you said it, but I know that movie, so that's yeah, cool. He's a cool guy. And the title... Yeah, you met him? Oh, Hangs out in your little village? He died when I was about four. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I wasn't... It really left an impression. <laughs> well, I've seen Battle Royale like 20 times, so I really like it. Really? Yeah, I love Battle Royale. Okay, maybe I should, maybe I should rewatch it. Oh, you got that cool fucking box set. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't put up the poster for it, because all my other posters got ripped. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a shame. Yeah, some stupid sister's dog running all over him. So you got any more uh any more trivia? Yeah, I have a bit more. So the title of the film, right, is a reference to the Yakuza series in name only. It's like it's That's similar right. to how Bodyguard Kiba was not so much a remake of the seventies film The Bodyguard, which was also a, I think it was Toei as well. 
but it's it's more of its own thing. The only similarities that Ambition of Honor shares with Battles of Honor and Humanity series is that both films share the same composer and a few actors. That's why the soundtrack is so good. I was gonna say like, I, I, well, we're, we'll get to that. I disagree. But like, wh- why? <laughs> why is this like? Why is it an homage to the other movie? Like, all they share is the same title, ambition in it. It's, like, has nothing to do really, with like. Did the director it's a say really it? Big film series. It's just like pay, paying tribute, sort of. It's like a spiritual success. So like, so like, so, and nobody can use the word ambition in their movie without paying well, no, homage well, to no, this like fucking the, movie the series. The tone and everything similar to the films. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like right. um, the okay. music's like grand heroic music, and it's like mixed with gritty up close uh, violence. You and I must have gotten some different music vibes, because for me it was elevator jazz the whole Are you way through. Fucking joking! This shit's awesome. You know, kill B- the Kill Is Bill it? song. <laughs> that song. That's what the whole yeah, sound. I do know that's that what the whole soundtrack's like. It's fucking great. Well, you and I literally watched two different movies. <laughs> it's so. Cool. I'm not even. Okay, that, yeah, that, I got a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's another film that pays tribute to the original one. It's, it was released 2000, it's called Another Battle. It's gotten... It, Is it Honor Without Ambition? Uh, Ambition Without Honor, yeah. Ambition Without Honor and Humanity, something like that. That's the song that plays. And, okay. uh, yeah... You missed my joke, that's okay. And that's, that song's originally from the Another Battle film, which is a, another tribute film to the 70s films. Fucking tributes, man. I don't ever want to make a tribute film. I just want to... Like, I want to make a slasher film, but I don't want people saying it's a tribute to anything. I would be pissed <laughs> off. I'd be like, this is my own movie, man. Fuck off. The slasher film was filled with symbolism to his stuffed dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, you gotta become a film critic, so you get all this shit I right. I am a film critic. I can, I can, just not an official I can one. Feed you, I can feed you information. Oh, you definitely. <laughs> wow, how does he know so much stuff? He read really read between the lines on Mike's film. <laughs> uh, do do you remember Soma from the new for gangster films? The old guy that got killed. Yeah, yeah, our boy Soma. Yeah. <laughs> he played the um, old guy who was shot and killed, right? And he's one of the producers of Ambition Without Honor, and his son right. Hideki is the star of the film. That's right. I read that in the yep. book. So we. Wrote, where, where did you get this information? I got, it, I got it from the book as well. This shit's not online oh. anywhere. <laughs> oh, we read the book. <laughs> Right. Yeah, only Tom Mez knows this stuff. So the <laughs> film basically serves as an attempt to launch the career of uh, Soma's son. Well, he's not called Soma, but I don't know his real name. So it's his yeah. son as a V cinema star. Tetsuya. Yeah. Is that his name in the movie, Tetsuya? Yeah, Tetsuya in the film. So I called him, I just wrote Tets a lot, and like Tetris. I wrote it so much that it stopped like... I stopped. Uh, it stopped auto correcting it to tits. I finally, so I got happy. <laughs> That's fair enough. Like, you know, you're talking about with it. Oh, he's the handsome fella in the uh, picture. Yeah, That's right. Sexy Tuts. dragon tattoo guy. Yeah. So. T- so okay, what's up with the beginning of the film where like this bro's getting a new face? Oh, that. And then we go back seven years. That's because at the end of the film, Tetsuya slashes him across the face with a sword. Oh, right, that's that guy. Okay, for, in my head, it was like Tetsuo getting a new face, and it didn't make any sense. No, that'd be so weird. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes way more sense now. I'm like, because that was my first note, and then I guess I never went back to it, so that, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Tetsuya never made it quite as big as other people in the V cinema field, like Shoei Kawa and Riki Takeuchi, but he had a decent career. Not that big, but he did okay for oh. himself. Well, he did okay for himself because his dad was Soma. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah. Soma and his relationship is reflected in the film's story, which is like a another father and son relationship and like bridging the gap between generations. So it's like Soma's passing the actor sword to his son. Sword, I mean torch. Passing the torch to his son, not sword. <laughs> I went with sword, yeah. Yeah. And that like plays into... What did your dad pass you? Um, Did your dad pass you anything? Crippling depression. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, you admitted it! <laughs> no, I'm joking! Oh, I'll I'm never joking. let that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we all joke about our depression. We <laughs> call it red-handed. <laughs> uh, I think my dad gave me a uh, crippling social anxiety. That you don't it. seem like you have social anxiety at all. You work in a shop. Oh, thank you. I do, I do work so in like, a shop. You job just talking uh, to people every day. <laughs> yeah, it's different because, like... Every time somebody asks me something, I know the answer. Oh. So it's just, it's like it's hard 
to have anxiety over that. You know what I mean? Like everyone is asking me things and I'm giving them, I feel like God basically. Every time so. someone... And I'm six foot five, so I tower over everyone yeah, while they ask. Yeah, you don't need to be so it's... anxious about anything. You could just, like, hit them. Well, <laughs> well, I'm not... I haven't thrown a punch since, like, fifth grade. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do. Every time... Like, if some five foot four guy punched me, I'd be like, dude, stop that. <laughs> you just feel like, <laughs> it's a, unpleasant. You'd be like a moth flying into you. Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> like, every time you know what, what, someone asks me something at one work, I, I have no idea what uh-huh. to find shit. I just, I can't even, like, lie about it. I just honestly tell them. That's because you've been there three months, and half of those has been vacation. It's always makeup so. questions as well. Like, I don't know what the difference between blush and mascara is. I, I'm not a makeup expert person. Wait, people ask you that? Yeah, they always ask if I've, they've got, like, waterproof mascara, and I don't even know what the mascara looks like. It's fucking people. It's like they never worked, like, menial jobs in their lives. They don't understand and that. We don't know no one ever what, talking, what they sees want. The free for two offer. The free for two offer on makeup is plastered all over the first aisle, and they always come with two pieces of makeup to the counter. So you have to tell them. To uh, nobody, them. nobody looks at sales. This is like no, like the people in charge of sales don't understand that people don't look at the sales. Yeah, part of the job's promoting sales until whatever's on sale, you have to tell the customer, promote it, and try and sell it. You have, you have like yeah. goals to meet with sales. That's true. That but, is. Like we have to get yes. it under like three percent. We something. have to get away from our work and get back to V Cinema. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so the film uh, starts with that guy getting his bandages removed, like we said, and he's got that awesome scar across his. Then face. we go back in time and he's banging. He's banging away. Yeah, he's fucking awesome. He's got Hell a yeah. hot girlfriend, Kayo. Hell yeah! He ah, does. fucking cute. moth! Fuck off! Yeah. <laughs> Big moth just flew. In. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> it won't go away. All right, it's gone. I mean, it's a, it's not gone. It's a moth. It can just fly it right back really at you. Tidy any, and it any second. Oh, it keeps flying right in front of my fucking face. You fucking British people and your moth open. problems. You don't have a fucking uh. You don't have a net thing. No, net. You don't. Have, you don't have a window screen. And window screen. What the hell's a window screen? You just have your window open willy nilly. Yeah, that's why that way cold what? air comes in. Yeah, but we have screens so that animals don't get into our homes. I'm on the second floor. And yet a moth just attacked you and almost ended our a podcast. Moth does not in your life. An animal. It's an insect. A- insects are animals, I bro. I don't count them as animals. Well, you're not. That's that's fine. You know what? If Noah's Ark is real, he had a moth on you there. Think so Noah God fucking thinks had that two right. of each kind of slug on that Ark. I don't think he did. Noah didn't care about the insects. They're fine. The flood's not going to kill insects. Well, I watched the documentary watched the movie documentary with Russell Crowe with with Russell Crowe called Noah, and he definitely had moths and insects. That was not so a fucking I'm documentary. Sorry. I mean, I don't think this movie would lie to me. Well, <laughs> Noah didn't exist, and. Russell Crowe playing oh, you. Noah? You think a fucking ark saved all the animals? What? <laughs> I mean, according to the story, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't mind. I don't, know. I don't, I don't know. mind some Bible <laughs> stories, but Noah's ark is fucking ridiculous. That's some far fetched uh, bullshit. It's, it, oh, it's it's an allegory. It's okay. an allegory for what? Um, don't kill animals. I don't fucking know. Save them all. I have no idea. Noah had. Well, they were vegans. Noah, had Noah was vegan, so. Kind of centipede on his ark. So maybe this ark must be like. 1,000 miles long or something. It was pretty big. No, it was a busy man. So anyway. Anyway, enough about Back to the dude bang. It's the dude bangs. <laughs> and then, then, then they're all dressed like priests or something, right? Yeah, in uh, in the pachinko parlor, right? Yeah. Who's dressed like a priest? I don't remember the priest. So right before right before our our, 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 our Tet kills the boss dude, he uh, he dresses like a priest and oh, asks yeah, for the, money. Oh yeah, the charity box donation things, right? The charity box, yeah, he yeah. Do you recognize and the so guy they, like, who they... had the other charity box? Yeah, that was his. Uh, what? Do you recognize him? No. He's the protagonist from Osaka Tough Guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. These guys are all used everywhere. Yeah. yeah. V Cinema game. So yeah, it was him first asking for donations, then he kind of ran away, and then Ted came up, and the dude's like, "We already paid the other guy." And then he starts fucking stabbing yeah, bitches, right? Yeah, he just, like, slowly pulls out that knife from behind the charity box and, like, shoves it right in his gut. And that was his dad. His real-life daddy stabbed. 
<laughs> yeah, he fucking killed it's him. Awesome. That's cool. Real father and son bonding moment. And and spoiler, he also slashed his on screen father at the same yeah. time, but they they're not aware There's of each so other. So many yet. layers to this. So many deaths. There's a lot of layers to this to this fucking You know what usually when a Yakuza boss dies, there's not many layers. This one was layered. Yeah, fucking layer cake. <laughs> I, I rewatched that this week. It's pretty oh, good. Have you, uh, never, have you ever? I like. It. I always like. I it. remember my my old neighbors used to lend me DVDs, and they lent me um, Lair Cake to watch that Daniel Craig film, and I had it for like three yeah. months. And they asked if I liked it, and I had to like make up a story that I watched it and stuff. Cause I did. Did you eventually no, watch I've it? Still not seen it. Oh, I just, like lied about it, saying yeah, it was cool and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's cool and yeah, stuff. It's Daniel good. Craig shot that's people. that's how you that's how you started your film critic. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This fucking off. <laughs> yeah, you, if only you had a fucking screen for your window, huh? Yeah, well, it's a baby moth. I don't usually get that many moths in. I've got my curtains closed. Yeah, well, you're freaking you out. All right, so oh, uh, so that oh, so then they all like then they like chase it, they chase the guy. One more thing, one more thing. Yeah, it's about bugs. Yeah, go ahead. I yeah, go lifted on. up my bed the other day, and it's ho- it's oh like my a God. big hollow box underneath. I don't know why. But Please don't it tell me is. it's your come suck it box. Okay. And it's like a spider cave under there. You know, in Skyrim, when Ugh. you go into the cave and it's full of cobwebs yes. and big spiders. That's what it was like. I didn't even. I just what? left the spiders and put the bed back down. There was so Wait, you have so you you're currently sleeping on spiders? Well, they can't get to me. Cuz they're in the closed off box area underneath. So I'm safe. I don't know how they got in there though. Yeah, clearly they can get out. Well, I don't know how. I don't even know how they got in. I'm shocked by your lack of caring about the I'm spider safe, people. I'm safe, it's not going to get me. You're fucking being attacked by spiders and moths. You're not oh, safe. Moths. I you're not by you... spider in ages. Oh, this you're morning actually what I about. <laughs> I got into the no. bath and someone put a glass on a spider and I didn't see the glass, so I kicked over the glass while getting in and the fucking spider ran out. Dude, how many animals exist in your home? Sorry, sorry. How many insects are going <laughs> in your home right now? Uh, quite a lot. Moth City downstairs. Oh, shit. Okay, I bro. Fucking hate summer. Uh, so then he runs away from the yakuza, and they have a little—they have a cool little shootout, oh, right? Yeah, that was awesome. I love how close the camera gets to the gunfire. It's so cool. And then um, that. So then I, I already grabbed that police Back to the pistol. future. Back to the future. Yeah, we go back to oh, the future. Oh yeah, now. seven years. Back to the future. And guess who shows up to 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 say hello to our guy Tet? Coming out of prison. His girlfriend, Kayo. The most loyal Who girlfriend in the history. waited for him. She waited seven years. And then she got dicked right in the prison wall. <laughs> I can't believe how... And then, like, and then she prison. gave him... She brought him home, gave him dinner, and told him that he she has saved 20 million yen. <laughs> how did you get 20 I million wanted from to, your delivery job? I wanted to marry her. You think she worked at the what Angel a... Delivery Company from We Are No Angels? That'd be awesome. <laughs> no, she had a. She just had a little delivery. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Dude, by the way, that's hundred eighty thousand dollars twenty years ago. Oh, really? That's like three hundred grand. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Delivery job. She's delivering uranium. Dude, or something. that bitch was delivering underage girls <laughs> for <laughs> prostitution purposes. You don't make that kind of money otherwise, you know. Oh, definitely. It's not UPS. <laughs> UP Lolita. <laughs> so, like, all these movies, I just fall in love with the chick. <laughs> I just love all these chicks. Yeah, these cinemas got some cool girls. I'm a feminist at heart. <laughs> so, uh, so like, uh, he blows her off, or uh, I guess, yeah, no, he, he basically blows her off forever. Yeah, because she don't want him and to get so, in with the Yakuza. He's like, it's the only family yeah. I've ever known. I must go. But he goes back to the Yakuza, and they, like, the second, the mid-level boss is like, ah! Our boss is busy. Here's some money, bro. Oh yeah, I feel so bad. For oh, him. but at first, at first they don't recognize him, right? Like the the younger yeah, Lakuzas. It's not a warm welcome. They just, like throw him up against the wall, like Nanda yo. <laughs> like, <intimidating laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I always fucking weave. My that was Nanda good. In front of the mirror. Uh-huh. So you said we might get thirty minutes out of this podcast. We're already at thirty minutes, and so we're still at the beginning know, of movie we're one. Doing so. good. Oh, excuse me. You were excused. I'll use my editing skills to edit that one out. But then I have to edit this <laughs> out. Like, so I think I'm going to leave all this in. Podcast where we took that break for five minutes. Hell yeah. I did that shit.
No, you didn't. All right, so what happens next? Like five minutes. There's a recession, right? There's a Yakuza recession, <laughs> like I asked, like I talked about earlier. Oh yeah, I, it's like a between the two clans, there's something going on. Like they want peace, and they don't want him to disrupt the peace. That's why they don't want him to get involved. Well, there's also a recession going on in Japan at this time, so they all they don't have any like Yakuza money. Oh yeah, um, what's it called? Stock market crash, something like that. Yeah, fucking stock market fucking crashes all the time. <laughs> Bullshit. Do you have any bonds on the stock market? Uh yeah, I've got I've got a big 401k and oh well, big. I have I have a big 401k if I was 20, but I'm 40, so I have a I have a I have a okay 401k. That's still pretty uh, cool. Yeah, and then I've got some some stock in the uh, index fund, so. Nice. Yeah, do you, do you? You're a young man. Or have you started saving it? Um, I have four grand in the bank, but no stocks. Like under the mattress with the spider people? Or? They might have stocks. I could ask. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't. They'll take your money, man. Yeah, thieving spiders. That's racist. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, so then he meets up with his uh with his buddies, he right? Meets up with that monk guardian. First, I, d- I don't really know the relation, but they seem to know each other. What guy? The monk who's tending to his mother's grave. Oh yeah, that guy's just like a cool character that shows up for no reason. Yeah, and he 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 gets pissed at the monk and kicks over his mum's grave. Yeah, and then he's like, "I'll buy a new one. <laughs> don't touch it." <laughs> like a fucking spoiled kid. You'd think prison would turn him into a man or something, but yeah, it, it feels like he only he was only in there for a week. You don't see it exact same. You know, I, I don't have any idea like what a Japanese prison's like. I know what an American prison's like. I, I know what a Russian prison is like, which is scary. You watch the like, I have a... um, documentary Prison Circle. It's surprisingly chilled. Really? Yeah, like, they don't really get into fights. They just seem sad. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's sad. I mean, that's good, but it's... Yeah, it's like it's kind of exactly what you'd expect. It's just sad Japanese people, and they talk in like therapy circles and stuff. It's hmm. interesting. That's nice. That's nice. I'll have to give you a copy. All right. Well, I'll, I'll watch the trailer. That'll be enough. For me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we learn that Tetsu's dad is a yakuza, yakuza, and that he was all slashed across the face and. Tetsu is like drunkenly walking around the city when he bumps into his old friends um, outside that. Um, I called him the pussy lighting friend. Why? Oh, that's right, because that was his job. Yeah, he his job was the girls at the women's pussies at the strip clubs, which is a great job. I don't know how much he got paid? I, f- I don't. Know. I hope he got like a percentage. Of- well, not much, because his boss beats him up a yeah, lot. Yeah, so he just smashes the window with a chair. <laughs> Yeah, and then they go get drunk with uh, while well, his chicks like all sad at home. Yeah, it's cool that they used to be in a biker gang together. It reminded me of Akira. Yeah. Oh yeah, kind of did. Yeah, cause yeah, it had that vibe. Yeah. I and mean, they had the red motorcycle as well. It was cool. Did Did Mika ever do like a uh, a, 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 a a a I don't know a motor bicycle movie? Have we gonna are we gonna watch um, one? Um, there's a guy in Fudo who wears a leather jacket. I guess that's as close as you'll get. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Now maybe he'll his next movie will have motorcycles. I think it actually does. Oh, the Fuda, the I assassination, think, uh, or whatever. The fight has a motorcycle thing. All right. Cool. Very cool. So. Um, so uh, so after after they get drunk with his old associates, he uh, he tries to go gamble like with his old Yakuza buddies, oh, right? It's, oh, I felt so awkward for him. It's all so awkward. It was. <laughs> It would so okay so like his old uh his old yakuza they have a game set up of whatever game that they play in yakuza uh, circles. Koi Koi, whatever it's called. I don't I don't know what it, is it Koi Koi like the fish. Uh, it's not like the fish. It's like when you match you have to match cards in a certain sequence. It's complicated. Oh, Mohong? Nah, it's not that. No. Nah. Okay. Yeah, it's complicated. So anyway, they're playing that and they're like, dude, you can't gamble here. We're you, you just get out of here for a while. And then he's like, come on. He gets like. I don't know, he gets pissy, but then they let him play for some reason. Yeah, and um, the just how convenient, because the, uh, the guy from the other clan comes in, Moiwa, and he sees him gambling, and he just calmly says, today is not a good day, and walks out. Like, like <laughs> yeah, that was pretty very cool. Very professional. <laughs> yeah, very professional. Yeah. The other gang was definitely more professional than this gang. Yeah, definitely. This gang was kind of a fuck-up. Yeah. And Tetsuya then goes back home and takes his anger out on his girlfriend and he don't want to eat her lovely meal that she prepared. You would really like yeah. her meal. It's all greens and stuff. Very healthy. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And well, I'm, I'm getting a big fat steak for tomorrow, so yeah, I can just dream about the greens for well, now. That doesn't sound very healthy. Oh, I like steak. It's got a lot of vitamins. I still haven't had steak. I bet steak over here sucks anyway. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I said I bet steak over here sucks anyway. You haven't had a steak? No, not yet. All right, so you're going, you're coming to Orlando, right? Spoilers. Uh, one, right, maybe, if that's where the family wants to go on holiday. Fuck the family. You should come hang out with us. We'll have some fucking steak. Maybe, but airports I'll take you to a steakhouse. Where? Your country has airports closed? Yeah, we're still in lockdown. <laughs> what? Yeah. I think we're hoping to uh -oh. open up again uh, next month. But there's like a wave three coming and no one seems to give a fuck. What way three? Get it's your. Are you vaccinated? No. Are you able to? Um, uh, I think so. Oh. I just haven't bothered. I think um, the priority is people over forty at the moment. Christ, I didn't. I forgot that I'm in America and. Have you been vaccinated? Everything is. Yeah, I'm. Next week, I'm getting my second shot. My friend just got his second shot. I'm not really bothered nice. about it. Yeah, because you're a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could go get it, but that's fucking effort. I don't want to waste my time yeah. going to get a fucking injection. Yeah, but I you're going to have to get... Uh, no, it doesn't matter. We can talk about it at the end of the my episode. You and your anti-vaccination anti well. stances. Fucking mental. Your mom? Yeah, she thinks the COVID vaccine conspiracy theories are true. Oh my god. I can't wait till you get one and you tell us stories about how your mom kicks you out of the house. <laughs> that's what she'll fucking do. That's why I've been putting it off. Oh, that's okay. Just don't tell her you did it. <laughs> Where were you, Kala? Why are you so sleepy? You wanted the vaccine, I what? swear. Stop. Just be normal and stop talking to your mother. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. So, um, Tetsu runs alongside that um, higher-up's car that he's chasing and he's begging to let him in. And that's when we get the coolest scene in the entire film, that stunt where he gets plowed into and he goes flying. Like, that was not a dummy. That was an actual person that went flying. He looked like he got seriously hurt. Yeah. Like, that's something you'd see in, like, a Hong Kong film, not a Japanese straight-to-video film. It's crazy. I want to see, like, some <laughs> behind-the-scenes stuff. I want to know if the guy's okay. He looks so cool. I bet they just threw him out of car and told him to bounce. Yeah, I do like he broke his shoulder. Seriously. <laughs> So then and so this is where he gets all pissed, and he's yeah, like, he's the "Fuck these guys!" Flailing around and all his friends are holding. Yeah, he's yeah, he's like, "I'm gonna kill these guys!" And his girlfriend's like, "Let's just leave. I have fucking three hundred thousand dollars." <laughs> and then his friends is like, "Yeah, bro, ride or die." And then they form their Akira gang, and yeah, then it flashes. They, well, and, and they basically start a prank war. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's what they just like <laughs> putting firecrackers in um, the Yakuza's meals. <laughs> And they put yeah. that one guy on the inflatable raft and just leave him in the ocean. <laughs> so, I don't even know. So, like, they snuck up on this guy in a little dingy or something like that. And they, they took all his clothes. He was already naked trying to bang a prostitute. Yeah. And they kidnapped the prostitute. They take all, and they, like, they're like, ha ha, we're taking your prostitute. And then they <laughs> leave him alone in the woman. ocean. They strip her naked and push her off in the middle of the ocean. Why well, she couldn't swim? She's dead. Yeah, it's all it's all a prank, bro. It's <laughs> just a prank, bro. <laughs> you can't swim, bro. Uh, so again, that was a little dangerous, but that was that was yeah, funny, but that was about <laughs> it. <laughs> and um, this is when we learned that Tetsuya's girlfriend had a promise to Tetsuya's dad that she would try and help yeah. him, but she completely failed at that. And uh, and his dad gets like, it's all like, I'm sorry, I've burdened you with this. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, are you banging her? Is this chick been celibate for seven years? For dude, I bet his dad was hitting it. He had to have been. Oh, what do you definitely. think? Definitely, especially with that cool scar. Yeah. He's a badass. No, it was that before or after we went to prison. Yeah, it was before. She was definitely banging him yeah. because he had that cool scar. Oh, who's the guy who played Ryu in Street Fighter? Um, the film. Yeah, he's in this movie. Uh, I can't remember. I only knew Jean Claude Van Damme, and he was not in this. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm gonna look it up real quick because Ryu from uh, that Jean Claude Van Damme movie that plays so um so, he's a uh, Byron Man. He's in this movie. Byron Man. Yeah, or maybe he's that doesn't make Didn't sense. Raul when did this movie Julia come out? Nineteen. 19... No. Byron's the bad guy, isn't he? 
Uh, Byron? I think so. Yeah, I don't Raul remember. Yeah, Julia played the bad guy in Street Fighter. See, I read somewhere that Ryu from Street Fighter is in this movie, but he's not. I can't see it. So where I don't did you know. read this? It was not in the book. It wasn't in the book. I don't know where I read it. Maybe Wikipedia? Oh, I don't believe crap on that. Does this film no, actually have a so Wikipedia disapp- page? I don't know. I guess. That's surprising. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. It totally does. Ambition without on their wiki. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's surprising. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that is kind of cool. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, oh yeah, after them, she talks to the dad. You hear the sound of a motorcycle, and you get that really cool transition where she looks at the camera when she hears the noise, and it cuts to motorcycles. I don't know if this transition <laughs> has a name, but it's so fucking cool. It's I love it in any film I see it, and it's awesome. Wait, what has a name? Uh, you know when you hear a noise but it doesn't make sense, and then the camera looks at the camera and it cuts to whatever that noise is. Like the motorcycle. Oh, sure, yeah. That's so cool, I love that. Oh, yeah. Transitions are cool. Yeah, definitely. And the Yakuza uh, chase after Tetsuya on the motorbikes, and the gang splits up, but they just follow him, and they beat the shit out of him. But Hell yeah. um, his dad luckily saves him in time. Okay, this is the coolest scene in the movie, where, like, He's on top of a staircase. His dad's oh, like on the bottom of a staircase, yeah. and the camera's like upside down, and they're like in an alley. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and I was just like, "Cool!" I actually, this is like, I actually went back. I was like, "This is a fucking cool scene." Yeah, I screenshot that. It's a really nice um, picture. Well, picture now. So then Ted gets married. Oh yeah, his friends force him to get married. You know? That's so strange. <laughs> they, they didn't even want to get married. Yeah. They hate each other pretty much. Well, yeah, they fall some uh, yeah. on them, and they willingly agree. So strange. This is and then like the and, like after the him. after the wedding, like the that's when they uh, the the boss like offers him to be a yakuza, right? Yeah, he, like, but he's like him being to a... dinner and holds that private ceremony. So yeah, he's, he's really being a trickster yakuza, though. He's like a fake one. No. He thinks he is. And then his boss is like, "Hey, man, go kill the stronger yakuza for me again." <laughs> and Tetsuya, being the fucking idiot he is, agrees. And accidentally ends up killing fucking... his daddy. Yeah, that's sad. That would give me daddy issues if I killed my daddy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you first scar his face, then you kill him. It's not good. So the Yakuza uh, so then... leader then wants mm-hmm. Tetsuya killed, and the Tamazawa gang, who are the bad gang, are on to the Yakuza leader and almost end up killing him. That's when they all point the guns at him in the back of the truck. Yeah. But that's somehow cool. he weasels his way out of it. Then Tetsuya's girlfriend is followed home by some Yakuza's, and Tetsuya's hideout's revealed, and they all just gang up on him there, and you get a really, really cool scene where he's like, it's like um, Max Payne, he's just like jumping around, shooting in midair, it's really cool. Like, on his <laughs> That's a stuff. great reference. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the Max Payne film? It looks quite fun. A long time ago, but yeah. Yeah, Mikey, Marky Max, yeah, so I don't forget we're too good. Hell yeah, dude, I love that guy. I don't like him. Not as an actor, anyway. He's my spirit He's my spirit actor. <laughs> I, I bet you only like him from his workout videos. I like him for everything. Oh, oh you know, the happening. You love happening, right? Yeah, I do. I like it. Uh, I, I like it unironically. I think it's cool as shit. I haven't shit. seen it since I was slept over at my grandma's house ages ago, so I don't remember much. My, my favorite scene is when he talks to a... To a house plant that's like fake, so like a fake plant. <laughs> what does he and say? He's, like, he, he's just, he, I, don't, I don't remember. He's just trying to have like, he's trying to like make it chill, make it relax, and like be happy so it doesn't kill him. Kill but me. then he's just like, he's like, oh, you're just a fake house plant, aren't you? And I'm talking to a fake plant. <laughs> and then the camera pans out. <laughs> it's fucking cool. It sounds like a masterpiece. <laughs> it really is. I really do think it's I awesome. Watch, yeah. You should. Uh, so then his chick gets gut shot and dies. Oh, yeah, and he didn't even seem that upset, really. Yeah, I I was more angry than he was. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 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 Tetsuini just can't act. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Probably. Maybe that's why his V cinema career didn't take off. For sure. And then all his friends die too. Yeah. He's so like everyone's dead, dead except Tet. No. He's the cool silent type. He doesn't like his emotion show. So uh, so so then then him and like this other Yakuza boss's brother yeah, or like something have a huge Yakuza shootout. Had enough of the bullshit. All to elevator music. We must have had two different musical scenes, My musical music scores. was hyped and awesome. I didn't get any elevator yeah. vibes from it. So that's basically, that's basically that's that's the movie. Unless you have something else uh, to say about it. Just that the 
final confrontation, like the big um, action scene at the end at the boatyard. So, so cool. It's so awesome. Oh, yeah. I dug it. A big fight. I always like a big fight. Yeah, That's he, the way a movie should end. the Yakuza boss by slashing him twice, and you don't even see it. And I just <laughs> it's cool. It's awesome. Then it ends with, like, um, his dad burying the son at the graveyard, and he buried the son in the same grave that his mom's in with all his friends. So that's one cramped ass coffin. I thought his dad died. You what? I thought his dad no, died. It turns out he's actually alive at the end. Oh, that's right. I actually wrote that. Turns out his dad isn't dead. <laughs> that was my last line. <laughs> yeah, and he, he buried idiot. them all in the same grave so that they could beat you ever in the afterlife or something. It's weird, but it's a nice ending. Great film. I think the moral of the story is don't disrespect people so much. The moral of the story Everyone is just seems very disrespectful. Don't be a fucking idiot like Tetsu. <laughs> I think yeah, it, all I these think movies make me want to be a gangster. Mm. Something like that. You gotta be the manipulator. It's got many morals. It's like I, we said earlier. It's a layer cake film. Lots of layers. Ah, so part two. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> uh, I have a decent amount to say. Um, so okay, it took me to reading the book about twenty minutes into the movie because I was disinterested to realize that this movie was not a direct sequel. <laughs> and even though his name is still, his name is still Tet. This isn't actually him in the future. Yeah, if you didn't know this beforehand, then it is really confusing. Like, I didn't know this the first time I watched it, and I was super confused. Because they're all basically playing the same characters, and it's the same cast. The but same it's like fucking a names! Timeline. It's really strange. Yeah. But it works, I guess. Yeah, well, it worked for you. I, I mean, I guess... I've watched a couple of films without, without subtitles and it was fine, but this one I just couldn't I think, handle it. It was, too, it was too much talking. I think both films are great, but the second film's better on a technical level. Like, there's a l the, the cinematography and transitions and everything's a big improvement upon the first one. Well, the, the, the beginning of the movie is this big ass fucking fight in the rain that's completely blue, and I fucking dig it. Yeah, I, I think the first one overall is more stylized, but you get the. Um, you, get, you still get the really cool fight scene at the end of the second one. But I think it matches the first one i think they're both really great hmm. so if uh if you want to kind of go through it i'll be here i'll be your moral support yeah just um, just like throw in a word every now and then and it'll be fine <laughs> i'll grunt i'll grunt a little bit <laughs> yeah just grunt and agree yeah <laughs> <laughs> so the second film starts with a failed assassination that results in um a guy getting stabbed, but he didn't actually die, I don't think. I think I remember this correctly. So the man who was stabbed is Tetsuya's father. So his father gets stabbed again, but he doesn't stab him this time. Someone else stabs him. <laughs> and Tetsuya takes a really cool train to go visit him at the hospital. And we get a flashback between Tetsuya and his girlfriend, and I'm not 100% sure what is happening because the sequel has no subtitles. And the book wasn't very helpful on what was happening. So I think... <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> Not really. Like, they're like, at the part one, there's like four and a half pages of exactly what happened in the movie. Yeah, I've, part I two is Tom not. I didn't really care for this one. <laughs> no, dude. I don't think so either. Uh, I think... And also, the picture isn't as cool, but he does have a cool leather jacket. Oh, yeah. That is a badass jacket. So, I think his um, girlfriend's upset with him about leaving to join the Yakuza or something like that. So, same as the first film, basically. And uh, Tetsu gets into an argument with that cool cop guy who played the slashed face guy in the first one, not his dad, the bandage guy. <laughs> and uh, the dude gets, like, they go to, like, a restaurant where all the Yakuza smoke like a sack of tough guys. Oh, and that reminds me, right? There's this town in England that wants to ban smoking entirely. Like, even if you're outside, like, in a field, you won't be allowed to smoke or anything. Dude, didn't we try this with all drugs and sex and everything? Like, what the fuck? Well, that's like prohibition, right? This is just like one small yeah, England yeah. town. <laughs> yeah, so like we have prohibition on everything, and we want to do everything. Everything should be legal, man. The more you take stuff away from people, the more they're going to want to do it. Like, we still have heroin. Like, heroin's illegal. People still do it. Yeah, you can't really stop it. <laughs> Like you, you sound like you're on heroin right now. Do I? I think I won't sound like. Yeah, but it's two. It's two thirty like, in the morning, so. Asleep. Yeah, you'd be nodding off a bit. A bit. <laughs> I'd be knocked out like <laughs> elephant. <laughs> well, maybe you're, around. maybe you're, uh, you know, maybe you're edging yourself to reality with some cocaine. So, like, you're kind of like you're on level How right now. How readily available do you think this stuff is in my area? <laughs> 
Well, I don't know. I assumed you would just go see some chav and he'd have some cocaine and heroin and I he'd don't buy it from him. I don't know. Chavs. I don't eat chav people. But I assume you can go like go find one. Like you know I what they could, look like. He'd probably headbutt me. I mean, that's bad business. He probably just wants your money and a return on a recurring basis. Or he just robbed me. That does, that's not that doesn't make Yo, sense. They want they don't want your. These chav people are rough. You don't know. I mean, you're right. I don't know, but I would assume if they are dealing drugs, if they would want ever more. In the, uh, in my island, Mike, you can go. I forgot it was called the UK, so I just said island. <laughs> if you're ever over here, then you can go to a <laughs> chav and try and start up a conversation. No, I don't want to. They're just white trash. Well, we have plenty of those. You know who you remind me of? That James Corden fellow. We love him back home. Is that how you think I sound like? It's just his basic American voice. <laughs> That was awful. <laughs> I can't wait to eat steak with you. I'm so excited. Eat steak and smoking cigar. What kind of steak do you think you would eat? Um, what, like, do you have do you have any idea like what your I'd options just say would, do you, would you like? Medium it? rare because it's the most basic answer. No, no, but like what kind of steak? Like a like a like a ribeye or like a filet mignon. Um, I have no idea what the difference is. Would you want a bone in? Um, I'd rather have the bones removed, so I don't mm. choke on them. No, no, there's one big bone. It kind of gives it extra... Well, maybe it doesn't, maybe it does, but, like, it gives you... You can kind of suckle on it after you're done with it, and, then like, it gives it a, the, a little bit extra, like, flavor, Is it like to, the in my opinion. like cartoon steaks from Looney Tunes? They have that white bone in the middle. <laughs> so there are, like... You can get, like, a tomahawk, it's called, and those are, like... You can get up... Like, they get up there in price. You can get, like, a $140 oh one. Oh, God, I'm not paying $140 <laughs> like, for a piece of meat. Yeah, no, I I wouldn't either. But I mean, I would totally once. So. Have you ever had dry age? We'll get we'll, we'll get you a nice uh, fifty dollar ribeye. How's that sound? Yeah, sure, I'll pay for it. Hell yeah. Have you ever? All right, I'll pay for the drinks. No, I'll pay for it. Have you ever seen um? I said I'll pay for the drinks. No, you pay, pay for, for the steak. It makes yeah. Oh Jesus! All right. I, I pay Eat for shit, everything. Then. I don't let people pay for stuff for me. Fine, that's cool. <laughs> you gonna pay for my steak? Yeah, sure. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm on holiday anyway, so. Oh, that's true, yeah. Money doesn't exist on holiday. I think uh, the pound to the dollar is supposed to be really good now, anyway. Yeah? Yeah. So, if anything, I'm right. saving money. No, I'm not. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, the... Yeah, it's, I, I was hoping that would distract you and we would just end the podcast no, and stay. No, I still got plenty more notes for <laughs> yeah, this yeah. Uh, second thing. Yeah, yeah. Right, hit me. I'm ready. I'm so ready. So, the Yakuza's um, intimidate a guy in the back of a limo. They, like, hit him on the knee with a lamp. It's strange. So, they rough him up a bit. And this, um, this guy's a doctor. I think it's the girlfriend's dad who's the doctor, mm -hmm. and he, they basically scare him into poisoning Tetsuya's dad. It's like um, the end of, um, what's it called? Million Dollar Baby, when Clint Eastwood injects that girl. Oh, thanks, dude. You haven't seen it? No, I keep meaning to, but people keep spoiling it, and I keep waiting to re not remember it, and so I've waited long enough to not remember it, and I think I can still watch it with the, whatever you said. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, you'll forget this <laughs> so spoiler I think anyway. It's fine. Yeah, we, yeah, I'm just gonna watch it go. This old man's gonna inject this bitch. What's he gonna inject her with? <laughs> Heroin. I don't know. Hell so yeah. um, they go to a. Should do some speedballing. <laughs> I don't think Clint Eastwood has access to that kind of stuff. <laughs> He's okay. What do, what do I want to what? What? No, you asked me something. No, I did. Oh, well, my bad. Are you are you the one that's tired? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, well, I'll try and speed through the notes a bit then. So no, it's all good, man. Well, after the I'm the one bringing up steak and heroin, <laughs> so <laughs> what a perfect combo. Clearly, I have nothing better to do with my life. <laughs> so um, after the funeral, we get a really cool POV shot that involves a cop going up a staircase. You remember the POV shot, the best point part of the film? My favorite kind of pornography. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens when I when I'm checked out in the film. I just start kind of scrolling. <laughs> well, what's your favorite kind? You don't like POV? Uh, if I'm in the mood for POV. Okay. All right. That's a that's a that you should be a pal. That's a political answer. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I, I watch everything. A bit of everything. So the uh, where am I? Oh yeah, the... check it to Lolly. I have never actually watched Lolly, and I don't want to. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Those people are weird. Not yeah, that it shouldn't be legal, but those people are fucking weird. It's weird for a reason, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's incredibly like uh, I don't want those people near me. <laughs> yeah, watch Boku no Piku once. That's enough. Boku no Piku. You what? don't know what Boku no Piku is? <laughs> no, it's just hearing you say no Piku is making me laugh. Uh, don't Google it. It's like an infamous um, hentai thing. Boku, Boku no Piku? Yeah, it's ri- I imagine Irangus or TJ knows what it is. It's like an infamous thing. It was really big at one point because of how like fucking gross it was. Like everyone in high school oh, wow. knew about it, and it's like, ah, have you seen it? Ah. Oh, I'm totally watching this. <laughs> uh, use a VPN. Why? I don't think you want that crap oh. on your browsing history. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's very strange. Oh, that is a weird DVD cover. Oh, is that I got a boy it's on or a DVD? girl? What yeah. the fuck? Right on Wiki is the uh, is a bare chested, possibly a boy. I don't. I'm. You're right. I'm not watching I'm this. I'm cutting this off this weird. conversation right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like so it. So the uh, yakuza's have a meal with some lovely hostess ladies, but unfortunately, one of the lovely hostess ladies gets raped by one of the yakuza's. But That's unfortunate. Mike does a very smart thing. The guy um, only like humps her twice before coming, and that emasculates him. Shows that he's a little. Oh yeah. Guy. Yeah. I read about that. He was very unhappy with it. And she was so confused. The look on her face was like, "What? What's? Am I like?" How? She was like uh, almost disappointed. Not, yeah, that you know, shot. That, I'm just saying it, that shows them from inside the locker. Such a cool shot. Yeah. As well. I put that, that on my cool, Instagram. Yeah. Cool shot. I'll plug my Instagram. Hidden gems on Instagram. Go there for obscure I'm film s- stuff. So you can see I can do two things at once. Like I was listening to you, and then I, I, I agreed about her face, but also I'm reading the uh, the uh, Wikipedia for Boku no Pico. And oh my goodness, run, <laughs> that's Mike. A, that's run insane! Away. Stop while you can. Don't go any further. Can I can I, can I can I can I tell you? Can I tell the audience the synopsis of this? And this was when the podcast was taken down from Spotify. <laughs> All right, we won't we won't talk. That's crazy. We won't talk about. It. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Which I never brought us up though. We can talk right after. <laughs> So um, a car pulled... Oh, this is when the car gets pulled out of the river and all that water comes down off it. That's so cool. It's like a never-ending waterfall. There's so much water. It's so cool. Cool, cool, cool. Have you ever been to a waterfall? Um, I went to Mother Shipton's Cave in Yorkshire. That kind of has a cool waterfall. It's about... What is it called? Mother Shipton's Cave. You can Google it really quick. You'll find it. It's like this natural waterfall stream. And... um. There's something in the water that turns... Like, they hang teddy bears from the rocks, and when the water goes on them, it turns them into rocks. Like, over time... That's pretty like cool. Like, a few years, the teddy yeah. bear will turn into a rock. It's really weird. You can buy, like, weird rock teddy bear um, souvenirs. And they've got... Is it called the... Oh, okay, I see pictures yeah, of it. Yeah, there's, that like, a creepy actually. statue of the old lady um, in the cave. And I remember when um, we went as kids with the family, like... My sister was stood in front of it, getting a photo taken, and when she went looking, I went behind her, and the woman's, like, got her hand out, and I, like, touched my sister's back, and it scared the shit out of her, because she thought it was the old lady statue. That was so fucking <laughs> funny. Dude, this, this thing is exactly what I want to do when I go to England. Oh, go to Mother Shipton's cave. <laughs> I mean, d- yes, because it, it has a cool little hotel that's, like, has black and white stripes on it. There's a little creek. <laughs> <laughs> there are the, all these old timey buildings that I'm sure just look trashy to you, but for me, it's like a fairy tale. <laughs> this looks. I'll, I'll, yeah, if I go to America, then uh, I'll just go to places you think that look trashy. Like, I'll go to the Denny's restaurant and have my picture taken outside it. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was in Florida, uh, all we dude, did was go to Denny's. You know what? The, the biggest uh, over. The thing, like, with Americana is, like, the idea that, like, our diners are so good. But I fucking hate our diner food. I think it's garbage. They all seem really gimmicky. I mean, I... Huh? They all seem really gimmicky. Yeah, like, they always... I mean, they always have, like, some kind of specials. Like they always have, like, the... Florida have the world's biggest McDonald's or something, and it's, like, half of it's a Matthew <laughs> Arcade. I remember going in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I've never been there. I think it's around somewhere I'm usually at, but, like... It was interesting. Anyway. Yeah. I mean... You'll have funner as an adult, so... <laughs> Uh, almost done with the notes now, so the Yakuza are digging a big hole, then the um, head Yakuza shoots them, bang, bang, the dead. I'm sorry, but that old lady's creepy as fuck. Yeah, that's why my sister screamed when I touched her shoulder. Yeah, I almost screamed when I saw her it's picture. It's like a weeping angel from Doctor Who. If you close your eyes, that thing's going to touch you. 
I don't want to close it. I'm going to sleep with my eyes open. Imagine sleeping in Mothership Sense Cave. If you actually could, I think it's open. Like, you don't... There's no gates or anything. You can go in there whenever you want. Imagine if oh, someone really stole nice. a yeah, statue can't. and just, like, threw it in the river. That'd be so funny. Dude, that'd be rude. That would happen in America. <laughs> you see, like, Mothership to randomly floating down the river. God, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, <laughs> Oh, there's a little waterfall. That's cool. Come okay, I UK see the waterfall. I'm gonna steal the statue and throw it in the river. Hell yeah, bro. Like a chainsaw or something. It's probably. I want to. I want to make an in, in, international incident with you. <laughs> That'd be so fucking funny. I doubt we'd even. You, we'd probably get fined like some money, but that's about it. Like, yeah. Like some other I shit. Mean, I Who so. cares? It's a fucking uh -huh. statue in a cave. It's publicly open. Yeesh. It's not private. That's good. You know when those people were tearing down the statues for like being racist or something? We could ju we could just <laughs> use that excuse, like wrap a rope around Mother Shipton, pull mother, it down. Mother Shipton's a racist, <laughs> down with racism. Yeah, pull is that down what the we... racist Mother Shipton <laughs> statue. <laughs> then throw it in the river. Did it work? This is not a crime. We did this. We are woke. Then just talk about woke as fuck. <laughs> That's pretty much all the notes I have. Cool. I just, so I like, yeah, I liked film one. I didn't care for I film two. I thought they were both great, but after rewatching them, I ranked the first one a little higher than the second one. So nice. the second film's like the 49th best Miike film, I think. So it's oh, wow. That, yeah, it's top half, yeah, for sure. So for me, I got uh, we got Peanuts and what coming uh, up? The Way to Fight. Peanuts is one we'll first meet Wait. Ricky Takeuchi, who will be in a lot of Mike films. He, oh, really? He's in the Dead or Alive films. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's going to be cool. <laughs> I like anything that's cool. All right, so uh, this has been 16-ounce cinema...